right, hurry it up. Hey, what's the big idea? If you fellows are looking for loose change, you're wasting your time. The young lady and I pay everything by check. You can save the flip talk, kid. We're after information, not money. Information? Such as the secret frequency call or commando Cody's private set. No one but Cody himself knows that. Check the dial position on the shortwave set in the car. Commando to Joan. I've reached 50,000. Commando, cut out. Trouble. One, two. Must be the radio. It is. Let's go. Where's Joan? That's all right, Joan. I'll get you another one. I wonder why... Calling Commando Cody. Hey, that's one of them now. This is Commando. Go ahead. Stand by. In two hours, you will receive a personal message from the ruler. That's all, Commando Cody. The ruler? See, that means more trouble for Earth. I wonder what gruesome plan he's got up his sleeve this time. Maybe we can pick up a directional fix on them. Let's get back to the office before that message comes in. Ready and monitoring? Ready as of this moment, Commando. I'll try to keep the ruler talking as long as I can. What possible threat to Earth is there? As long as the cosmic dust blanket is protecting us. Time. Commando Cody, this is the ruler. They're on. This is Commando this Cody. This is the first of seven Before you say any more, which I have prepared. Seven times will you hear my voice. And seven times will the people of your doomed Earth see my power to destroy you multiplied in the skies. My next communication will come in exactly one hour from now. They're cut off. Recording or not, let's find out where they came from. Hello, monitoring. Report, please. Looks like it was a moving point, Commander. Direction 123 Southwest. 123 Southwest. Variable, three seconds of arc during signal. Three seconds of arc. Right. The recording was being transmitted from a moving vehicle traveling south on the mountain highway. How about a roadblock? There's too much traffic on that road. It'd be worse than searching for a needle in the haystack. Any further instructions for monitoring? Tell them to stand by to try again in an hour. We'll try again an hour from now. I wonder what the ruler could have meant when he said the doomed Earth would see his power to destroy us multiplied in the sky. Commando, look how bright it's become outside. What makes the sun so hot? It's so bright, I can't see anything. Hand me a polarizer, Dick. Take a look, Dick. Shades of bikini. But what do you see? Pick up, man. There are two suns in the sky. You're right, there are two suns. But how can that be possible? But anything as big as the sun can't be duplicated just like that. What does this mean, Commando? It means serious skin burns, for one thing, if we don't get out of the direct rays. Earth can survive the heat of two suns, but only through stringent worldwide emergency measures. Yes. It's for you, Mr. Henderson, Security Commission. Henderson speaking. Yes, yes, we know. Commando says there is a chance. Here, I'll let you speak to him. Commando speaking. Yes, sir. I recommend worldwide water rationing immediately. Prepare for floods north of the 42nd parallel due to melting polar ice caps. As temperatures rise throughout the world, expect widespread grass and forest fires. 
people must be told to stay off the streets and indoors. Attention all citizens, attention all citizens. Go to your homes at once and stay there. This is an emergency. Stay off the streets. Attention all citizens, stay off the streets. Go to your homes and await further instructions. Attention all citizens, stay off the streets. The sight of twin suns in the sky has caused widespread panic in every major city in the daylight zones of the planet. Martial law has been put in operation throughout both North and South America. A water curfew is now in effect in the United States, and temperatures are still rising. Commando Cody is leaving for outer space to investigate. Things won't get really bad for several days. By then, I hope we found out something. suns with twice the light and twice the heat. But there's still something missing. Do you know what it is? Oh, what? Right. There should be twice the sun's normal gravity. That's right. A big planet in the solar system should be pulled in closer. But they're not. So that means that actually there's still only one true sun in the sky. Commander Cody. A ruler. It right has on been schedule. exactly one hour since my last communication. By now, you have probably explained to the Earth governing officials how it will be possible survive the heat of two suns. <laughs> Look again in the sky, Commando. Perhaps you will now find it a little more difficult to reassure your world that it will still be safe. What was that crack of his about reassuring the world? There's your answer. Take a look. Oh, no. How does he do it? Calling Commando Cody. Calling Commando Cody. Commando speaking. Commando, have you seen it? I have, Mr. Henderson. There are three suns in the sky. The people are shouting that this is the end of the world. Well, we're not licked yet. But this throws out all your calculations. I'll make new ones. The Security Commission wants you to return to Earth at once for a special meeting. Tell them I'll be there. Set a return course for Earth. of dust have done much to blot out some of the terrible heat of the multiple suns, but great stretches of once fertile farmlands are now desolate dust bowls, incapable of supporting man or beast. The hot winds continue to blow, sending furnace-like temperatures soaring. In some areas, spontaneous fires rage out of control. There is fear that a sixth sun to appear in the sky would spell the complete end of all life on Earth.
reporting from Earth. There were four suns in the sky by sunset. It's night here now, but the Earth is still a furnace. People of all nations are rioting and threatening to overthrow their governments unless something is done. Very good. Tomorrow morning there will be five suns in the sky. By noon there will be six. But before then I will communicate my terms for Earth's complete and total surrender to me. We can't stay here and wait for Earth to surrender, Bailey. This heat's getting unbearable. Don't worry. We're moving to a vacant refrigerator plant. Well, isn't that where Kirk and Nordahl have their headquarters? Yeah. In between broadcast to Commando Cody, they both managed to keep cool and comfortable there. Somehow, the ruler is able to multiply the images of the sun, possibly by reflecting it from various positions in space. Yes, but mirrors large enough to do the job wouldn't be practical, would they? The ruler wouldn't need mirrors if he had the secret of refractive force field. A desert mirage is a reflection without mirrors. You're on the right track, Joan. Any abrupt change in density creates a surface that reflects light and heat. Remember the formula for figuring the frequency density ranges and electromagnetic transmissions of power? Yes, there's a copy of it in the safe, but I... You and Joan make up a single phase scanning unit, utilizing the principles of that formula. Get it aboard the rocket ship and wait for me at 80,000 feet. Yes, sir. That wind you hear might even blow us some good. Not only will the dust storms it's causing filter out some of the heat from the skies, but it will also keep most of the traffic off the roads. Well, there'll be plenty of wind for that, and even more. Say, maybe you'll be able to spot the outfit that's sending those broadcasts. I'm hoping so. In the meantime, you and Joan get busy on that density detector. along with it. The ruler wants to conquer Earth, not wipe it out. It's time. Commando Cody, this is the ruler. By this time, there can be no question in your mind but that Earth is doomed. Tomorrow morning, five suns will rise above the horizon to blister your work. The next move will be up to you. You will have 12 hours in which to arrange for Earth's unconditional surrender to me. Should this be not forthcoming at the appointed time, I will cause a sixth and final sun to appear in the sky. Earth will be burned to a crisp. Now, this fancy two-way radio sure made our job a lot easier. Yeah. the boss. We supposed to pick him up? No, he and Mason will show up when they're ready.
Boy, it's even hot in here. Better start the refrigeration unit. I'm gonna hide this before Baylor and Mason get here. Aren't you gonna let them know how we kept in contact with Commando? I let him take all the credit with the ruler? Oh, no. Let's play it smart, and maybe someday Baylor will be taking orders from us. I'll take that. Commander Cody. Cody. Toss it here. And be careful how you handle it. This trigger is very delicate. I'm interested in finding out who this Baylor is. And so long as he's due here, we'll just wait for him. <laughs> how it'll be much use against the ruler's refractive force fields. Well, it's not made to destroy them, Dick. Only locate them. Oh. In a way, 
According to my figuring, the rulers using three rocket ships for each refractive force field. By knocking out one ship in each triangle, we'll be able to clear space of each one of those reflected suns. Yes, but it might take days to locate those ships, Commander. That's why I had you and Joan put together this density detector. The rulers' ships are going to furnish us with their own range and position. That's it, hold it. Fire. Hey, that does it, Commander. I want to see two. Come take a look. I never knew one son could look so good before. <laughs> Me too. I feel like cheering. Well, cheer. Yeah! Oh, what do you know? Must have been tuned into my frequency. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>